What's good, everybody? In the internet world, here we are. Going to do an unboxing of this Ivisu multi-pocket denim jacket. All right. So I'll show you all the packaging first, how it came. Obviously in the box, but then in here also, which I love. Uh, their attention to detail and their presentation, second to none. They really, they kill it with that. So let's check it out. Do this unboxing and it'll be like a slight review too. I ain't got that much time, so before anyone did anything, Abiso did everything. One of part of the Osaka Five. If you know your history on denim, love this bag too. Put the little logo. Let me turn it this way. Love the bag with the logos on there. Like I said, attention to detail is second to none. They are the best when it comes to that. They've been in the game a long time. They know what they're doing. Uh, I only have one hand since I'm holding my phone with the other hand. So that's just the receipt and everything in there. I'm not going to show you all none of that. You don't need to see it, but this is a nice little card too. <laughs> yeah, this is dope. I'll keep this card. The receipt, you don't got to see all that personal information. <clears throat> Let me see how I can open this. Let me see if I can put the phone down over here. Excuse me, it's like I said. Right. Should be good there, I don't know. I'm recording on my phone, but let me at least get these stuff out of the bag to then be able to uh, show you further. Alright, we got this now. Uh, another bag is like Inception. We got a box with a bag within a bag within a bag. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it says like the whole best before. Like the day, month, and the year. It doesn't say a day, but I'm just packaging, you know, details and stuff, I'm guessing. The whole morning and everything, yeah. Anything or sex. Hmm. Interesting. There you go. That's how it came into the, in this bag. There you already know. They're going to have to do that. I'm telling you the presentation is top notch. Like the box, the bag within it, the little card on the bottom, uh, this bag. Like they're just they're on another level. Let's see if I can open this up. Give me a second here. And that baby looking nice, baby. Fresh off the press. Come on. Ooh -wee. That sweet little baby. All right, hold on. Let me get this out of here, too. Yeah, put this there. Like I said, it's an unboxing and a review, so part of the unboxing. Yeah, it was nice. Great quality. The best. All right. Uh, got this. Little price tag, no? 10 cents. And then, yeah, how to take care of it, I'm guessing. Let's see if they have it. Yes, they do. We have it in English as well. Nice. So there you go. Tells you how to take care of it. And those are all the tags right there. I'm curious to know what the 10 cents one is. Check it out later. I hit that little uh, QR code, who knows? I'll check that out later. Anyways, let's continue on. Get this out of there. Nobody wants those. Uh, beautiful color. Oh, rip, that's the first thing I'm gonna say. See if I can get in the sunlight there on the corner next to the window so you can see that nice indigo color. Beautiful attention to detail. I actually like how the buttons are different, like maybe this button, as opposed to that one. Different design on there. Curious to see. It's only that one button? That's crazy. <laughs> Sure, maybe they fucked up and they did that by accident. But I highly doubt with their attention to detail that they did that by accident. But yeah, all the other buttons on here 
The other one with the Avisa one. And the one in the middle has that one on there. The little logo. I'm sure there's some purpose or reasoning for it. Hand painted on here. Getting nice texture to it for sure. You can feel it. Over time will obviously fade, you know. Uh, let's see what else we got. Let's flip it. Okay, flip it, bring it over here. Pockets, nice. Nice little pockets. Gotta have that. So you know it's official, it's legit. Uh, show y'all this too, of course. He's out that way. There you go. Heritage baby. Osaka. 100% custom made. And this bad boy right there. Beautiful, soft texture. Really looking forward to how it ages over time. Um, let's see what else we got here. Farthing. Oh yeah, you guys gonna wanna see that, of course. That's the multi-pocket part. I like how they put that on there, just to uh, help out. So right now we're looking at the back of the jacket. I'm going to fold it over though, just so you can see those designs on there. There you go. So you can really see multi-pockets on the sleeves, three on each side, and then designs printed on there. Really nice jacket, honestly. Quality is fire. Like, uh, jacket wise, like soft, not super like stiff, but still really nice. So yeah, there you go with the pockets and the uh, print on the sleeves. Let's open it up. You can see it opened up a bit. Excuse me, because this table isn't really that big to like lay it out properly, but see if that looks a little bit better. Okay, and like I said, I'm recording this with one hand holding my phone, so doing the best I can. Let's see if I can flip it over. Give me a second. There we go. It's flipped over with the designs on the sleeves, designs on the front pockets. Got this in there also. There you go. A few more details to show y'all inside. I showed you that one already. We got some pockets in here. Put some things in there, your phone or whatever. You got this here also. All right, On this side. Got the pocket again. Put your phone or something in there, whatever you want, lighter. And we got this on that side. Custom made since 1991. And we got this bad boy right there to XL, to my size. And yeah. Well, what, oh, I could show you the, I know you guys like these too, y'all denim heads out there. There you go. Very well made, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, not gonna front. Super well made. Uh, beautiful jacket. Beautiful texture, attention to detail, really everything. Like, uh, Visu kills it. Yes, obviously, they are expensive. Oh, shit. They are expensive. And as the saying goes, you gotta cost to be the boss and you gotta pay to play. So. Worth it though, for sure. Good high quality. Here's a view with it on. Close the door. Uh, anyway, honestly, I was kind of um, worried that it wasn't going to fit because Japanese sizes do run a little bit small. So like sometimes in Japanese sizing, uh, I normally wear an XL, like US sizing, XL t-shirt, whatever, like baggy fit. I don't like it to be too fit. So sometimes uh, when I'm buying 
clothes uh, from or in Japan, I usually got to go up to like double XL, you know, because it usually runs a size small. I decided not to do that on this jacket and I rolled the dice. I mean, if it was the wrong size, I would have just sent it back. You feel me? And told them, yo, I need a different size. It's not like they were super sold out or anything like that. Um, it was on sale though, if I'm not mistaken. So check that out on their website. Uh, but yeah, I ordered an XL, said fuck it, let me just go with XL, and it's actually the perfect fucking size, check it out. Hard ass jacket, sleeves are a tiny bit long, but that's okay. If anything, I could take them to, uh, my tailor and get them a little bit, uh, tailored a little bit up. People be saying that these also, when you wash it, it'll shrink a little bit, so maybe I'll just ride it out. It's not, like, annoyingly long. You can just put them up like that, and we're good to go. Fire ass jacket, honestly, hard. I love it. Not really my style, honestly. Like it's kind of like flashy with the designs on the sleeves and everything like that. I'm kind of more like a simple design kind of guy, you know, like a less is more type of vibe. But I saw this online and I was like, mm, that shit is hard, something different. So there you go, full 360 view. I think it fits amazing. Very comfortable, like off rip, super comfortable. Um, not like scratchy or super stiff. Um, it's obviously for when I'm traveling mostly right now here in South Florida, it's a little bit, um, it's chilly, there's a cold front, so I'm gonna take advantage and use it now. Use it for today for the fit with the sugar canes on, by the way, if you ain't noticed. You hear me? So yeah, we out here. Let me know what y'all think in the uh, videos. I tried to go on YouTube before buying this and seeing if there was like a review for any, let me cross down, for any um, Ibisu jack denim jackets. There was not, there were other denim jackets like the Levi's, the, um, what is it? The type ones and the type twos. There were some of those, but as far as like Ibisu, uh, I couldn't find any, so. I decided to make this review. If there's anybody out there like me that's looking on their website and wants to see how it looks, how it fits, I would say it's true to size. So if you normally wear XL, order an XL like how I did. If you wear a large, order a large, so on and so forth. There are other products. I can't speak on it because I only own one t-shirt from them and a pair of jeans and now this jacket. And everything, I mean, has pretty much been true to size. So uh, yeah, take that for what it's worth my review the packaging is excellent you know like the presentation is phenomenal the box and the bags and the card and everything branded uh super fire amazing attention to detail so and then on the actual jacket i mean very nice this is my first denim jacket also i think it's worth mentioning First denim jacket that I've ever owned. I mean, I have owned other ones in the past, but like Japanese selvage denim, uh, first one I've ever owned. Looking forward to it to see how it goes. I think it's fire. I like it. I like this look. Pockets are nice. Not like super deep pockets, you know, but not super shallow either. They're a nice, uh, good size. You could definitely put things in there and they don't have to worry about them falling out or whatever the case may be. The ones inside are hella deep. So, you put something in there, and you might have a hard time getting something out of there, but... I mean, maybe like sunglasses or something like that you could put in there, but... Very nice jacket. Love it. Love the details. Patches on the inside. You know? Little things here and there. Highly recommend it if you're thinking about buying a denim jacket from company Ibisu. Go ahead and do it. That's my recommendation. The money's yours, though, so do whatever you want with your money. Peace out. Hope you liked the review. Like, subscribe, all that bullshit. See y'all later.